Greetings Oracle folks, this is Justin and in this Oracle database YouTube video tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, install the Stats Pack utility. Now Stats Pack was introduced in Oracle database software version uh, 8 version that's Oracle 8 and it um, is a performance package for database performance and it takes what we call snapshots or intervals of database performances of uh, performance metrics and you can um, compare them and run reports against them provided by Oracle to help you diagnose uh, performance problems okay ie when your database is running slow and the users call and say to the application performance is really horrible um, starting in Oracle database version 10g um, AWR which stands for automatic workload uh, repository replaces stats pack again that's AWR automatic workload repository uh, AWR is installed and ready to and ready to go and configured and taking snapshots once every hour and saving them for eight days uh, by the by default uh, automatically so uh, right when you uh, install and create an Oracle 10g database and get it running okay so AWR is already running Stats Pack is not, even though Stats Pack does come with the Oracle database software by default, it's not installed nor configured ready to go. You need to manually install it, which I'm doing. Now, the reason why I'm showing you how to do this is, is because even though it's replaced by AWR, um, is because Stats Pack is still supported by Oracle Technical Support, and it is still, as of now, uh, July of 2011 and uh, it is still widely used uh, I still use it to diagnose uh, to help me diagnose the performance problems so uh, stats pack is definitely still out there and I like it uh, AWR is very similar to stats pack and does replace it but stats pack is still available Okay, um, the Oracle database comes with a bunch of SQL PSQL scripts whatever you want to call it with who um, that control it that, that control stats pack and it's usually kept in the Oracle home which on th this server is C colon slash Oracle app product 1110 DV1 and under Oracle home there is two direct subdirectories RDBMS and admin and here are all the scripts that come with Oracle. The scripts, but there are scripts that start with SP, and that stands for Stats Packs. And these are all the scripts that are related to Stats Pack. Okay, including the one we're going to run now, or uh, we're, we're going to run in a second or two, called SP Create, which creates the Stats Pack. Okay, so uh, let's go to our Oracle database finance, which is currently running. So we set our Oracle SID to finance, ensure it's set properly. And we log in by SQL Plus. See we're sys user, so we're DBA. And we ch check that we're connected to the correct database. Select name from V dollar sign database. Finance. Okay. So the first thing we we should do is we should we need to create a table space which will hold the stats pack performance data. Okay. And an AWR, the replacement for stats pack, starting in Oracle database version 10G. Um, the AWR repository data, we'll call it, is kept in the sysaux table space. Okay, so AWR, which replaces Stats Pack, its performance data has a repository that's in the sysaux table space. But with Stats Pack, we create our own table space. Select table space name from DBA table spaces. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a table and the default and it doesn't have to be it's not a special table space with any special flags or anything. Okay, so we do create table space and the standard in the field is to call it perf stat. Okay, that's how I that's that's what I always call it perf stat data file c colon slash database or data finance perf stat zero one dot dvf which is the Oracle standard name and convention, the name of the table space, and, and the, num the number increment DBF extension, size, and we'll make it 200 meg. That seems to be a good start size, typically, for the stats pack table space. OK, 
okay and if we do a select table space name from DBA table spaces we'll see that we created a perf stat table space and select name from the dollar data file we see our perf stat 01 at DBA file okay so now what we have to do is we need to create our um, our S service our um, stats pack tables uh, with the following command but first I'll show you that stats pack is not installed on the system yes the first uh, clue would be that the perf stat table space isn't installed yet that just could, could mean that the user doesn't conform to uh, best practice field best practices uh, what you do is type in the following select table name table name from DBA tables where table name like that's dollar percent and you'll see it comes back with no tables that start with the string stats dollar okay percents a wild card meaning I don't care what comes after that I just care that the table matches stats dollar when you when stats pack is installed it creates these base tables called stats dollar and that's basically the infrastructure where the um, all stats pack where the stats pack stores all Oracle performance data that stats pack is going to work with. Okay, uh, what I also like to do is this select table name from DBA tables where table space name is equal to perf stat. And this right here, select table name from DBA tables where table space name equals perf stat, will show me that there's nothing in that table space that we just created. So to go ahead and install stats pack, which is basically creating tables that start with stats dollar type in the following add sign question mark backslash rdbms admin spcreate.sql okay so we do the add sign which means execute an sql plus whatever's in this file we have the dollar sign which is the oracle home and, and we say that in subdirectory under or in oracle home subdirectory rdbms admin execute the file spcreate.sql we hit enter there and now it's going to be prompting us to do something. Not specifying the password will result in the installation failing. Enter a value for the perfstat password. Okay. Let's we'll do Justin123. Choose the default table space for the perfstat. Below is the list of online table spaces in the database which can store the user data. Specifying the system table space for the user's default table space will result in the installation failing. So you see uh, stats pack installation is adhering to Oracle best practice which is never keeping um, segment data which uh, data segments which don't belong to the database the system the, the uh, data dictionary in the uh, in the system table space um, or you um, as using system for performance data is not supported Choose the perfstat user's default table space. This is the table space in which the stats pack tables and indexes will be created. Okay, um, so I type in perfstat. Okay, because that's the table space that's eligible. That's not a temp or not a system table space, so it's eligible. Okay, using table space perfstat. Perfstat and perfstat table space. Uh, choosing the temporary table space. Uh, below is the list of online table spaces in this database which can store temporary data, e.g., for store areas. Specifying the system table space for the user's temporary table space will result in installation fail-in, as using system for work areas is not supported. Again, adhering to best practice. So we type in temp and we see what it's doing. It's creating the perfstat user. It's installing required packages, which are PLSQL packages. That's doing what it's got to do. Okay. The stats pack is install is complete. Now if I do a select user name from DBA users, where username is equal to perfstat, I will see that there is a user called perfstat. If I say select table name from DBA tables where table name like stats dollar percent, 
I will see now tables created that weren't there before but are now there because we ran the SP create script. And if I do select the table name from DBA tables where owner is equal to perf, I'm sorry, where, well, table space name is equal to perf stat, I will see that all these stats tables that we see are in the perf stat table space where they should be. And if I say select table underscore name from DBA tables where table name is equal, I'm sorry, where owner is equal to perfstat, so all tables that the perfstat owner owns, he owns all these tables. So everything was configured correctly, that means. Okay? And if we do a select object name object type from DBA objects where object name is equal to stats pack we will see that these objects were created too and stats pack package is, the, is what I'm going to um, describe and you see these are all of the um, procedures verify DB instance number, verify snap ID procedure snap, purge return, all right, these purge, you see these are all the packages that come with the procedures in the package that come with stats pack as well. Okay? Alright, that's how you install stats pack. So, um, see my other videos where I talk about diagnosing and performance problems using stats pack. But that, this right here is how you get it installed and working on an Oracle database. Okay? Thank you.